Welcome to Electron Line. One of the key components of an infinite series is what we call the power series. It is very powerful. I don't think that's why they call it the power series, but it can be used for many, many applications, and we'll see some of those applications. So what is a power series? Well, a power series is an infinite series that can be written in the following form. The infinite sum from n equals zero to infinity of c sub n times x to the n power. Now, the big difference here is the c sub n, which means that the constant will be different for every term in the series. You can see c sub 0, c sub 1, c sub 2, c sub 3. They're all constants, but they can be different from one another. They're called the coefficients of the series. Now, an infinite series like this can also be written as a function of x. f of x is equal to c sub 0 plus c sub 1 times x, plus c sub 2 times x squared, plus c sub 3 times x cubed, and so forth, off to infinity, of course. And that function will either converge or diverge depending upon the values of x. For some values of x, the function will converge. For other values of x, the function will not converge. It will diverge to an infinite number. Now, if we let c sub n equal 1 for all n, in other words, if we turn every one of these constants, as we call them, the coefficients of the series, if we turn them all into a 1, then the power series becomes a geometric series. It will then look as follows. And if we write it as a function, the function will then be 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed and so forth. Any term will be x to the n power from n being from 1 or from 0 to infinity. And then we can say that this particular series will converge for values of x between negative 1 and 1, and will diverge for values of x that are greater than 1 or equal to 1, or smaller than negative 1 or equal to negative 1. Now, we can also take a power series like this and center it, instead of about the origin, we can center it at a, and it can be written as follows. The infinite sum from n equals 0 to infinity of c sub n, again, the constants, the coefficients of the series, times the quantity x minus a to the n. In other words, it takes the whole function and shifts it to the right a value of a. So it's centered about a, and so we can then write the function like this. Instead of x, we simply replace it by x minus a, and then we have a function written as the infinite summation of numbers or of terms that have a different constant for each term and an x minus a raised to the n power n going from 0 to infinity. So that's what we mean by a power series. And what we'll find out is that a power series can actually represent a lot of different kind of functions. And that's what's kind of so neat about it. So if you want to know more about it, stay tuned and we'll tell you everything about what a power series is and how it can be used. And that's how it's done.